a long, long time ago, long before the land, before the land, before time, there I was, a six-year-old, or maybe five, five years old. Anyways, we had lots of outdoor cats in the Philippines. They lived on our front porch and thereabouts. We really only had one male cat, and for some reason, we named him Sison, which I think in Tagalog means princess, but I don't know if we knew that at the time, or maybe we didn't know that he was a boy when we named him. Anyways, we'd have like a little litter of kittens every now and then, and most of the time they would survive. I don't really want to talk about the ones that didn't. Anyways, sometimes they would get like heartworm or ringworm or whatever weird worms cats get inside of them, and we'd have to give them pills, but especially grown cats really don't like taking pills. You'd either have to hide it inside their food and hope they eat the food, but usually the cats would be really smart and just eat all the food around them and leave the two little pills you hid in their food just lying there in the middle of the plate. We usually fed them, I think, rice and tuna or something, and sometimes if they didn't finish all their food, we'd come home late at night and there would be huge toads sitting all over the porch and all over the food plate. I don't know if the toads ate the, fo the food too. Do toads like rice and tuna? Maybe, but they would seem to congregate around the, the remaining food. Anyways, but so the cats wouldn't eat the heartworm pills, if that's what the pills were. I don't know, I was really little. And so sometimes we'd have to like force feed the cats the pills, you know, so they wouldn't die or become, you know, emaciated or whatever. And so we'd wrap the cats up in towels as tight as we could so that they wouldn't claw and scratch, you know, the, or they wouldn't flay us. And um, so we wrap them in towels as tight as we could and then just try to, like, poke the pills down the cat's throat. So I feel, I feel like if you got the, the pills down the start of the cat's throat, they would swallow it the rest of the way, you know, push it into their mouth and then a little bit further. It's for their own good. You've got to understand that. Is this really the best way to do things? I don't know, but that's how we did it. And eventually... I feel like we usually got them to take the pills. Even though they were remarkably good at wriggling and writhing out of those towels. It's almost amazing. Saison was the best one. Sometimes he just didn't take the pills and... I don't know, maybe he didn't come back one year. Maybe not. Maybe not. But I like the cats. Sometimes I remember sitting there in my underwear on the inside. These were only outside only outside cats, outdoor cats. I would sit just inside our screen door and we never, you know, you know how you train cats with squirt bottles of water sometimes? And so I'd sit just inside the screen door and they would be outside, but the cats love jumping up on the screen door and hooking their little claws into it. But you don't like cats doing that to screen doors because it, it, pulls, it pulls on the screen and it's just not good for it. So I would sit there and as soon as a cat would come up to it and, uh, and latch their little claws into it, I would squirt him in the face with the squirt bottle, and uh, it was just the funnest thing, first of all, because, you know, they, they have funny reactions, but also because the water would stick into the little squares of the screen door with cool little patterns in the grid of the screen, and it was just cool to look at, and then probably my mom would bring me, like, a peanut butter jelly sandwich and some milk or something. Good memories. Good memories. Now that I think of it, I don't really remember what we did with all those kittens once they grew up, because I feel like we'd have a litter of kittens every few months, maybe every four or six months or something. However often cats can have kittens, we probably did. And I love the kittens, but we never had like tons of cats around. Maybe we gave them away to neighbors, or maybe they ran away. I don't know, we never really worried about it that much, I don't think. But I like the kittens. I like the cats. Yeah. They probably got eaten by snakes or something. One time a neighbor's pig disappeared. Then they found a pig-shaped pig -shaped lump inside an, like a, an, a huge anaconda or python or whatever kind of snakes lived there. Anyways, it was a fun drawing. I used, I used the rap rapidographs again for this one. Full double page spread. Did it on stream again. And uh, yeah, I had a good time. That's all that matters. And, and I like how it looks at the end. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Goodbye. Uh.